Hey, what is going on internet? This is Josh Noel from Sunduck Film, and in this After Effects tutorial, we're going to break down a fashion promo off of VideoHive.net. Now, this is a new intro that was introduced on VideoHive.net, and I liked it so much that I wanted to break down a couple elements in here and see how this is created. So let's go ahead and check it out real quick. So there's a lot of cool elements in here, and I've recently have been doing a lot of VideoHive.net tutorials. And the reason why I like doing this is because it gives us the option to break down these templates, which are really well made. And obviously there's a lot going on in this template, but there's only three elements that we need to look at. Obviously we have background footage, we have text, and we have the transitions. And basically there's only two things you have to focus on here. The background footage is just there. There's not much you can do about background footage. What, what you have is what you have to work with. However, the transitions and the text are all made inside of After Effects. And that's what we'll be breaking down. So obviously if you break them down to three separate elements, this promo is not even hard to create. You can see that the text is doing its own thing while you have the transitions on its own separate effects. For the purpose of breaking down this template and if you're in a time crunch and you need to be able to have an intro right now, I'm going to drop all the links in the description for uh, all the different intros that I like and you go ahead and check them out, break them down or if you're looking to save some time, go ahead and purchase it because it could take a lot of hours and I mean it could probably take a couple of days to do this correctly. So obviously if you want to save some time and you want it done professionally, go ahead and purchase a template if, if that's what you're looking to do. Uh, but for those of you who want to learn, go ahead and break them down and obviously we'll do this right now in our tutorial. So of course we can't do the entire promo, that would be you know a 10 hour tutorial. What we're going to do is we're only going to break down two slides and we're going to talk about the text and the transitions. So let's go ahead and let's get started. So we already have a new composition in here. So I already have some footage in here uh, just of my demo reel that I downloaded off of Vimeo because I don't have it on my new computer but go ahead and just lower the opacity on it. So we just have somewhat of a background here and yeah, it doesn't really matter, we'll keep it out. So first things first, we're going to grab our text tile tool and we're going to set the color to black. And of course, typeface choice is everything. So I'm going to use, just to be safe, obviously, is Gotham. Um, you know, there's a ton of typefaces out there, but uh, I use Gotham just because I know it's a safe font. And it's going to work for situations like tutorials. So we'll come over here and we'll type out, you know, three pieces of text. So we'll do uh, dynamic. So, so far, you can't read that. So we'll go ahead and fix that in a second. But make sure that all caps is selected so you can have the boldness of that. And we'll come here and just duplicate this three times. All right, so I want to make sure that we can see this. So let's go up here, grab the rectangle tool, and make sure no layer is selected. And at the top here, it says fill. Make sure that's selected to white. And just draw out a white box like this. And make sure to put this underneath our text. OK, so now we can start separating our text here real quick. So go up to the Align tab. So if you don't see the Align tab, go up to Window Align. And you can center, center up your elements so we can kind of see where everything's at. And we'll just do that for now. We'll duplicate the shape layer. We'll bring it down by a little bit, make sure there's some space there, and we'll duplicate it again and hold down control, hit control D to duplicate your layer. And now what we want to do is start aligning everything proportionally. So go to the line tab, select your text layer and your shape layer for each one and just align those centerly. Centerly, I think it just made a new word. And I'll just continue to center those up and put them in the correct spot. Okay, so I want to change the typeface option to black, just make it a little bit more bold. And I'll come here and just rename our text real quick. So what you want to do to transition on the lines is go to Effect. Make sure your ship layer is selected. Go to Effect, Transition, Linear Wipe. And add a keyframe for transition completion. Set it to 100%. And we'll change the wipe angle to 90 degrees or negative 90 degrees. And make sure it's set to 100%. And then move forward to maybe you know, almost a second and set it to 0%. So now we have this transition and what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the linear wipe and all of this keyframes here. I'm going to copy that and we're going to paste it to the other shape layers. Boom. And actually I might increase the feather on this a little bit. It actually doesn't matter. Okay. And let's go ahead and take a look at this real quick. So we have it coming in from left to right at the top and then we want to come in from right to left and then on the bottom we want to go back from left to right just to have some sequence going on there. 
So we don't want it all coming in at the same time, of course. So we'll just come here and offset these two shape layers. Just by a little bit. And actually we want to time it up to where when the top one's done, we want the second one to start coming on. And when the second one's done, we want the third one to come on. So make sure that that's timed up uh, appropriately like that. So now we have to transition on the text a little bit. So what we're going to do to make this very easy, I'm going to come here and I'm going to pre-compose our text layer. I'm just going to call it all text. So you grab all your text layers, pre-compose it, and you go to layer pre-compose if you don't know the shortcut for that. And for the shape layer, we're going to do the same thing. Go up to layer pre-compose and we'll call this one shapes. Okay. So what we're going to do here is we're going to bring the shape layer on top of our text and we're going to set our all text layer to alpha mat. So what's going to happen now is our text is going to transition on obviously as the uh, shape layer transitions. And then we're going to duplicate our shape layer, bring it back to the bottom and set it back to on. So now, boom, we have our text coming in just like that. That's very simple. So let's just conclude that this is our final animation. Of course, we can do a little bit more, but I'm pretty sure you guys can figure out how to animate these individually if you really want to. But let's go ahead and just call this our first slide so we can move on to the next one. Let's go up to layer pre-compose so we can pre-compose all this text, not the background footage. We'll get into that in a second, but we can call this one, let's call it one so we know that's complete. Then we'll go ahead and create a new composition. We'll call it two. And we just paste in my footage so we just have some background reference real quick. Okay, so in this, I really like this promo text and kind of what it's doing. It's obviously very short, and I'm not sure if you were able to see that specifically, but we're zooming, you know, out of the promo text. It's doing uh, an alpha mat, and then it kind of turns into this one line, and then we do that transition. We'll get into transitions after we do this promo text. That's very easy to do, so let's go ahead and let's get started on this real quick. So here, obviously, what we want to do is type out our text. So type out, and I'll just use promo. doesn't really matter. Go ahead and make sure you check out that project file if you're in a time crunch, of course. Now that I have our text promo in here, and it's like text promo to 1-800, no. Um, so hit S and keyboard for scale, and come here to the beginning of our timeline and set this up to, you know, maybe like 400%. Make sure the align tab's in here. So boom, it'll come down and make the last keyframe easy, easy keyframe. And of course what we need to do, what we need to make sure we do is center the pan behind tool. So go to the pan behind tool and Control, double click it so you center your anchor point. And we'll go back to the line tab and we'll just make sure that's lined up properly. Boom. Okay. So of course we might want to make this stretch this over like maybe two seconds or so. So basically one's about right here, we want this to become inverted. So whatever video that we have in here, we want to invert the track map. So what we're gonna do is we're going to grab both our layers here and go up to edit split layer. So this is our background layer and our text bring this to the top so we can keep everything organized and we're gonna set the track mat to alpha mat so now boom that goes into that and what we can do for a background here go up to layer new solid and just call it white solid I'm not really gonna be cool with name consistency here, but we'll have a white background in here so now we'll make sure we trim up the endpoint here to about right here and we'll set the opacity up on our video here just by a little bit so maybe 65 percent so boom bam and then we'll have to say up here for like maybe 15 frames or so and we'll come back over here grab the white background all three of these layers here go to edit split layer and just delete it so in order to invert back to our original screen over here what, we'll, what we can do is duplicate our promo text over here and just drag out the endpoint make sure the turn off the high layer drag in the endpoint to where it's on the new cut here and boom, that kind of just stays all together. And you see how it continues to scale in, and that's great. And then what we can do is bring in our new footage. So whatever that's going to be, we can do that. Okay, so now we have to do that nice line streak in there. So grab the rectangle tool, and we can set this color to whatever color you want. I'll do like a, I don't know, like a, I guess that's magenta. I'm not too well with my colors, but I guess that's pink magenta. And I'll just grab this over here like so. And of course, we can line this up. And what's unique about this is that there really isn't any like great transition that we could do here. I mean, there's a lot we could do, but come over here and make sure the opacity, ooh. And come over here and set down the, make sure to set it below your text. And then what we'll do is we'll toggle switch in the modes until we see the blending modes and we'll set the blend mode to like overlay, you know, soft light. You know, you kind of see what works best for you. I'm gonna keep it on overlay because I think that looks pretty awesome. 
And then, of course, make sure you trim in your endpoint. All right, and then for our promo three text, I'm gonna go ahead and open this up, go to animate, and I'm gonna add tracking. And I'm gonna add a tracking amount in here, just add a keyframe for that. And I'm gonna move forward to the end over here and set the tracking amount up by a little bit. So we'll have a little bit of like animation in the text, and that should be pretty interesting. Now, I'm not gonna really animate this line in. Of course, you can do that. There's so much stuff that we could do in this tutorial, because this is an intro. This is really where your creativity is gonna shine. But obviously, I wanna kinda of get the basic concepts out of the way so you can have you know, whatever you want to do with it, right? Okay, so let's go ahead and animate this out. And what I really would like to do with this is kind of split this into three. So first things first, you know, one thing I'm not doing in this tutorial is proper organization. And if you're going to do anything to like the background footage, you need to pre-compose your background footage before you start manipulating it. And that's what I've been failing at in this tutorial because I'm trying to just get this through. But go up to layer and pre-compose your footage. And you can call this one footage. And you can move all attributes into new comp. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to grab the rectangle tool for our footage and I'm going to split it into three sections. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to duplicate our footage, hit M on our keyboard for mask, bring this mask underneath our promo text, our promo banner, should I call it. And then I'm going to duplicate it one more time, hit M on our keyboard for the mask again, and I'm going to just make sure we have this part masked out as well. So we have three parts here. Boom. And one more thing, I'm going to duplicate our footage one more time and delete the mask. And I'll bring this up real quick so we see what we're doing here. So this is the footage without the mask and these three have the mask underneath it. And basically at this point is where I want the transition. So I'll go ahead and split that, delete there. And then now we're seeing the masked footage. Okay, so how I want to transition this out of here is quite simple. So I'm going to go ahead and grab our three footage layers, hit P on our keyboard for position, and I'm going to move forward to the end over here. So we have the keyframes at the cut, and then we'll just move these over here. And we're going to grab the X position of all this, and we'll move this over here to the right, and then we'll move our top down over here. And then maybe we'll just do this one over here as well. So now we get this going on here. Now, of course, we have to animate our promo text as well as, well as the banner. So hit P on our keyboard for position, and we can just move these over. So we'll move these in the appropriate direction. So we can do like that. So now, boom, you get that. So obviously you would overlay some more background footage in here so you can see the next cut in this sequence. And boom, that's how you can transition out of this entire sequence. So kind of just to run through it, and I'll put in some background footage real quick over that. Okay, so boom. We have our promo text and you can kind of move on. So obviously we, we can work on the timing of everything, but this is the general gist of how we can do this. So let's talk about combining these two sequences together. So we have one and two. So let's bring in our, go back to our main comp and we'll bring in our second sequence and we can just, so we have this going on here and then boom, we want to cut it to over here, for example. So this is when we want this one to come on. So we'll, the first sequence will run for two seconds. We'll make sure to go to here and split this layer and delete it. So now, boom, we have this, and then it goes on to our next one. So I'm gonna go ahead and just change the video here at the beginning, find something else. So this is what we have really quick. So we have our video, we have our promo, and we have some of our transitions in there. However, it's still missing a little bit, and this is where some other stock assets can come into play to really make this work well. So last week I made a video on the top five creative asset packs that you should have in your library. And one of those assets were uh, lens flares and light leaks. Let me just show you how quickly a lens flare can really boost up the scene. So I'm going to come in here. I have a library of lens flares, and here is you know, one of the lens flares right here. Maybe we can go through which one we liked best. So I like that one. Let's go ahead and bring this on top of our uh, you know, compositions here, and we'll set this to screen, and we'll scale it down because this is a 4K lens flare. I'll put that right here and obviously we run through this real quick we'll try to we'll put this between the cuts awesome and then of course we can continue to add some more lens flares in here okay so for motion blur turned on for all of our clips and make sure you go into the other compositions to turn on motion blur we've added our lens flares and a light leak let's go ahead and render this out and see how much more advanced this really is all right and after a quick render this is what we have and we have our lens flares and our light leak to help transition this over a little bit now of course that was really quick and obviously you know we can take some more time to fine tune it but i did this on the spot today 
So looking back at this video hive template, there's only three things that we really have to look at. It's obviously the footage, the text, and the transitions. And all three of those elements come together to make this awesome intro. And it's what we've been able to do with our own. Obviously, you know, we've kind of ran through it and there's a lot of fine tuning that goes into a template like this. So if you're not time crunch, you go ahead and check out some intros and purchase what you need to help you save a lot of time because like I said, it takes a lot of time to do these correctly. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and were able to take away a few techniques from this tutorial. If you guys did enjoy the video, please be sure to drop a like on it because it helps me out tremendously. Subscribe to the channel for more After Effects videos just like this and please be sure to hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are in the description of the video and always be creating.